All right, what's going on in the YouTube? Welcome back to your favorite cyclist YouTube channel. This week, we're talking about a super small pump and CO2 inflator and see if it actually works. But before we get into today's video, if you are new to my channel, make sure you head down below, hit that subscribe button for me. If you're new or subscribed, make sure that little bell icon right next to that is checked off. That way you get notified every time I upload. That way you don't miss any awesome cycling content we got on this channel. So right on to the video. I have the road bike behind me. This video has absolutely nothing to do with the road bike. The video has to do with what's on the gravel bike. So, come right on back here. That's doing this little guy right here. And this is my little pump and CO2 inflator that I bought for the gravel bike. And it mounts right on there. Perfect, actually. That's great. This little guy, it's a little Rock Bros pump and CO2 inflator. And this is something I paid for myself when I bought because this is what I was looking for. Again, with my gravel bike, the one thing I'm really looking for is reliability. Something that's going to work every time or be able to have redundancies and something that might not work, something that you can use once and then use it for something else. So I went and picked this like this little guy up here. So it's a Rock Bros, it's actually a little pump, it's a mini pump, so if you unscrew it. It's a super tiny pump, probably the smallest pump I've ever owned, but it's a super tiny pump and then on this side, there are actually threads for a CO2 cartridge to go on that side. So I went, okay, so I can do either or. All right, cool. The other cool thing is, if I unscrew, this little black tab at the end here, just like that, and then pull it out. It can do Presta and Schrader, which is kind of neat. You can do both of them depending where you are. You can help us else out on the road. I run Presta on my gravel bike, so Presta valve right there, ready to go. So today, the reason we have the road bike is we're going to try this thing out, see if it actually works pump-wise and CO2-wise. See if it actually pump air, see if it works for the CO2. Sorry, road bike, you're a guinea pig. The grab bike, I deal with those tires. I don't, I don't want to touch those tires unless I have to. So we're going to deal with the road bike, which has just regular old tubes in there. See if we can pump it up with just the pump. See if it'll even work. <laughs> see, see what kind of air pressure this puts out. See if we can get it to kind of go up some. And then after we try out our pump and see if it actually will pump some, we'll try out CO2 and see if CO2 works with this guy. Got to test our stuff before we actually end up in a situation where we need it out in the middle of nowhere on a gravel trail, right? So. Let's get closer to the bike. We're gonna go ahead and do the back wheel here because it's a little bit higher, so we'll do the back wheel, slow out all the air in there, and hook the pump up, and we'll start pumping, see what happens. Okay, so let's go ahead and let out all the air. Center tire right now. All right, and then we got our pump. So like I said, you gotta unscrew this guy all the way out for it to go onto a Presta valve, which is fine with me. And then it should, I believe it screws on to a Presta valve, let's see. That's on there pretty good. Oh, there we go. Okay, there's the end. So then we can, uh, if we can get this tire to take shape again, I will call this a success for a little mini pump. That seems to be working pretty good actually. For how tiny this pump is, I mean, it's gonna take you a few minutes for sure, but That's, you could ride on that home. That's not very much pressure, but you could totally ride that home. Yeah, I mean, that, that would definitely work. That would definitely work. Like worst case scenario, like worst case scenario, that would work. Okay, okay, I'm okay with this. Let's see if we can get it off without breaking something. So just unscrew it. Comes right off, you slide that back in and screw it right on. It's pretty neat. It works, actually works fairly decent. So, next up, CO2. CO2 work or no? Let's see. So let's send this guy back out for Presta valve mode. We'll flip it around to the CO2, the CO2 side so you guys can see. Okay, so real world scenario. Let's go with this. Real world scenario, you get a total flat tire. You gotta put it back together. So, initially, you wanna do some pumps and get the tire to at least take shape again. So we'll do some pumps here. And it's, it's taking shape again, cool. So, you know your tube is okay. It's in there, it's not gonna pinch when you do the CO2. All right, and we can get our pump side, lock that down. Then what we do, grab our CO2 here. Again, thank, big, thanks to Le big thanks to Leland Gas Technologies for the CO2. Let's do all these cool videos for you guys. So we'll go ahead and we'll screw our CO2 on this side. 
and we'll see what happens. Let's see if we can get this screwed on. Okay, so it should be punctured. Yeah, iced over. There we go. Okay. Cool. So that appears to work. And once you're done, it does get all of this metal freezing cold. So one thing I did come with was a little sleeve for the CO2, which is actually on my gravel bike right now. So I don't have that currently, but it does have a little sleeve to protect your hand from the CO2. And then honestly, it seals like that. So even if you wanted to, you could run this on the mount if you felt like it. And then once you're done, you just go and put the little cap back on here, slide the little adapter down here and tighten her up until she stops. Just like that, and it's ready to go right back on your bike. So there you have it, the little Rock Bros Mini Pump and CO2 inflator. That actually works really good. Again, I paid for this myself. I was looking for something that would work and would give me two in one essentially in a very small package. I'm tired of carrying around a CO2 inflator with a pump. It just doesn't work. CO2 by itself, you only have so many chances. You only have so many CO2 cartridges that you carry with you. I carry two. You only have so many. If you run out of CO2 cartridges, you're sunk. If you just have a CO2 inflator, you're sunk. You kind of can't do anything once you run out of CO2. If you have a pump, as soon as it sucks to pump your tires up that much, CO2 just makes it easy. So. Having both and being able to switch between the both of them whenever you want to, that's pretty awesome. It works really good. So I'm going to put this right back onto the Poseidon Redwood, my gravel bike, and keep on riding it. It works. I tested it. Everything works on it exactly how I'd like it to work. If you guys want to check one of these out for yourselves, I'm going to have a link in the description down below. It was relatively affordable too, which is kind of why I bought it. It was relatively affordable. It did what I needed it to do and should work pretty good for me in the case I need to use it. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If not, at least found it entertaining. Give this video a big thumbs up. Appreciate the support. Any comments or questions, let me know down in the comment section below. Love chatting with you guys. Love answering questions you guys have. And I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching today.